right, everyone, uh, this is Dr. Lee Howard with Compass Cellular Healing here, and I wanted to take an opportunity today to tell you about some of the new information that's come out about coronavirus. And um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have been watching the news, you've seen the headlines, and things have changed definitely over the last few weeks. And, and I've largely remained silent about this issue because we really didn't know how things were going to go. We didn't know some of the uh, parameters of the virus and what the possibilities of transmission were. And now that some of those things have kind of you know, we've, we've learned more about them. I felt like it was a good idea now to sit down and shoot a short video to give you guys some real good um, action, some actionable intelligence that you can use to keep yourself healthy and keep yourself well. So, so first thing I want to do is kind of go over some of the headlines that I've seen recently, right? First thing is we may be wearing masks for several years. This was an article that I saw last week. So they're looking at the fact that masks can definitely reduce the risk of transmission by some reports say up to 60%. But we, we know that, uh, based on some other things, that this virus is likely to not go away anytime soon. So if we look at what the social implications of this are, there are people touting the fact that we may be wearing masks for several years. The next one is, is that herd immunity may not happen. The next thing was is coronavirus immunity is short-lived. And the fourth one was asymptomatic carriers basically pose no threat to us. So let's take each one of those things and kind of break it down a little bit. So herd immunity is a concept where multiple people within a group get immune to something and they protect the non-immunized or the non-exposed members of the group. And we know that with coronavirus, just like with the common cold, that doesn't really happen. And so when we talk about the immunity to a virus like this that changes its genetic code very quickly and very frequently, your immunity may be short-lived. And these are all coming out now. So now you see where things like a virus uh, that can change its genome allows you to not get a vaccine to it. So the other thing is, is that we may not have a vaccine this year, right? And if people were counting on this, we could go back to school and go back to sporting events with a vaccine or with immunity. And now it doesn't look like that's happening. So what does all this mean for you? What does all this mean, right? So it means this, it means you have two options. Number one, you can either protect yourself in high risk places or stay away from those places. And number two, you really need to focus on boosting your immune system. Because the fact is, is that in the past, we've thought about the flu as being the killer um, that comes around in the fall, and we would see outbreaks of the flu. People in nursing, home, or nursing homes or who otherwise were sick would get the flu. Typically, they would get pneumonia, and then they would succumb to that illness, and that was their cause of death. I think that what we're going to see now is coronavirus is going to take place, take place over flu and causing those deaths. And we're gonna live with coronavirus forever. I don't think it's gonna go away. I don't think you're gonna get a vaccine that's gonna stay and allow you to have one vaccine and be immunized against this. So the only strategies we have are to reduce our risk. And the two main ways to do that are to look at your environment and to protect your body. So I wanna give you three strategies that you can use um, to boost your immune system. Number one, take adequate levels of vitamin D. You need to have your vitamin D level checked and it needs to be between 80 and 100. Number two, take vitamin C every day. You can take a lot of vitamin C and the only thing it's gonna do is upset your belly. But usually somewhere around 2,000 milligrams twice a day is an acceptable level, help boost your immune system and it shouldn't bother your belly. If it does, you get loose stools or abdominal pain, back off of that down to about 3,000 milligrams per day. And then the third thing that you can do is we offer IVs here at Compass Cellular Healing that can boost your immune system. And basically these, um, IVs are based on vitamin C. So we give higher doses of vitamin C IV, which have been shown in multiple studies across the world in coronavirus patients to not only shorten the virus, but also lessen the severity of the virus. And we know that taking vitamin C uh, proactively helps prevent your, uh, your body from being susceptible to the virus. So that's all I had for you guys today. I wanted to share these thoughts with you. Um, if you're looking to boost your immune system, give us a call. We've got the strategies to help you, and we'll be more than happy to give you some instructions on things that you can continue to do at home without having to come into the office. So stay safe, everybody.